More young people are getting into investing. A recent survey found that many use their stimulus check to invest in the stock market. Local financial professional Brad Allen from Drake & Associates is here to explain what young investors need to keep in mind. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, good. Uh, I'll admit, when I was in my 20s, I didn't really know much about stocks, but I feel like a lot of people now these days are investing in the stock market. Yeah, it's pretty neat to see, right? I, there's a survey that found that people uh, 25 to 34 plan to use their stimulus money that they're getting towards investing. And, and that's a pretty neat thing to see because, I, like I always say, people are going to retire, right? Everybody's going to retire someday. So the more money you can put away for that now, the better off it's going to be. And a lot of folks are looking into things like digital currency, like Bitcoin and those kind of things, as well as investment choices. And, you know, I really just think the pandemic kind of created a new generation of folks that want to invest. We had some time to kind of learn about different things and a lot of great social media tools teaching you how to invest. And, you know, there's a lot of great tools out there right now. And obviously it helps the market's been doing so well for the past year or so. Um, but there's a lot of great tools online. There's yeah. a lot of great apps on your phone that make it easy to invest. I was going to say those apps, especially uh, lately in the news, we've heard about Robinhood and a, a lot of folks of the younger age are using that. Yeah, it just makes it convenient, right? It's right on your phone. You can invest how you want, and it's pretty low cost and uh, a lot of different options that you can use it for. So I think technology was really the game changer where some of these apps came out, and obviously this is a, a generation for technology, um, so it makes it a, a lot easier. And it's always been daunting to think, how do I invest money? Well, what is the best route here? And that just makes it easy for yeah, folks. Yeah, and so if you are planning to invest, what do young people specifically need to consider? Because when I think investing, I think long term, right? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, no, long term is great. I mean, like I said, everybody's going to retire someday. And it's hard to, when you're in your 20s, think about retirement, right? But you, you have to find your purpose. What is your goal for the money you're investing? Do you want to buy a car in two years? Do you want to buy a house in 10 years? Or are you looking at retirement? Because those are three different investment strategies and three different risk tolerances that you want to have. So have that purpose. And then also know how that money is taxed, right? The problem with IRAs and 401ks is that in retirement, you have to pay taxes on that money. You could find yourself in a pretty high tax bracket later on in life. So think about Roths, think about these different things, and that comes down to creating a plan. So sit down with a financial advisor, a financial planner. You know, retirement planning is not just for somebody who is close to retirement. Retirement planning is for somebody who is just starting to work out too. So you want to have that plan put into place and maybe they'll teach you something that maybe you haven't thought of yet. Um, and then the last one is investment risk. You know, the younger that you are, the more risk you can take because if the market goes down, you have time on your yeah, side, right? Definitely. But as you get closer to retirement, you have to control that risk a little bit more. And of course, it also helps to meet with a professional if you are talking about investments and your future. So, uh, Brad, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, so much more information to talk about this, and we will have a link to your site on our site, foxxnow.com. Just click on Wake Up. Thank you.